Another scandal for the National Football League breaking overnight. One of its brightest stars has been charged with child abuse. The Fourth quarter now, third and 13, far back, looking for Moss. Uh, pass interference is called, but apparently there was a whole... It's great to be a Detroit Lion. The time is now. We're right in here, right now. Why are you going to bring to the table today? America! Relentless! Uh -huh. Relentless effort! Relentless! It's a man's game! Yes, Go hit these boys in the mouth. Play 60 minutes to the clock strike zero! Yes, We're going home happy! Let's go! Detroit. I'm always screaming DOE Where the hundred niggas with me I got my lessons, wake up and count my blessings What I done did for me, way much when I'm not stressing Got my weapon, k up, so try not stepping And why not step it, I hit it now, now I got extra Fuck y'all me, fuck y'all and fuck y'all team Come stuff by we, boss up and up all sleeves Got 19, temper short, truck long sleeve Got something on me, big enough to cut down trees I might do rap, steel trap and bust down peas Got bust down bands, no homo, but I bust down teams I've been that cut, truck down, we been that up R.I.P. the ruler, wish he wasn't in that truck Really shit ain't been the same since white and black Bitch, I'm from the D when we hide the cane We're buffies and icy chains Beam on the scope, we like to aim All we want is money, but like the fame Want money, we like the same Yeah, yeah, nigga, getting money Shout out to the East and West Ballin' all day, feel like Isaiah I don't need a rest Two figure writers in the crib Feelin' like I need a chef I'm a D-boy, I love my city I swear we the best Sitting on the whole club Sorry that I made a mess They go that I took a break No, I just took a breath Welcome to the D, where you get plugged and you can get power, hey, shit. Ha! Week two is now approached us. Now we're going up to Gopherland, the best these skull candy box clowns in the mouth. That's right. Y'all heard that little clip. Man, I didn't heard all the hype machine, the ESPN plugs, the, the whole NFC North butt kissing and kissing all over the place, man. All this Trey Wayne's better than better pick than Lakeman Thomason. All this gar I had to hear it all off season long, man. But now the week is here. And you skull candy vodka bitches is gonna get yours. Straight up. And I got so much to talk about. Oh yes, I do. All this hype about Teddy Bear, Bridgewater. Gonna make some noise against the Niner Empire. Getting sucked around in the second half. I mean, he was an absolute embarrassment for the NFC North. And I see y'all running your mouth about our collapse against the Chargers. But at least we put up more of a fight than you stole Kenny Vaughn Clowns did against the Niner Empire. The so-called best running back in the league had over 30 yards. 30 yards against the Niner Empire. Despite all the turnover, despite all the crap that was being said about the Niners, Man, I didn't see everybody bash the Niners, man. But yet they put a whooping on you Skull Candy Von Clowns. And you think you're gonna have a bounce back game against us? I kept trying to tell y'all all this offseason. Child abusers' knees is shot. They're not gonna carry you to another great season. All this 2,000 yard stuff. Even the stupid NFL Network said he was going to get 2,000 2, yards again? Really? He's going to get 2,000 yards again? After that garbage I seen at Levi Stadium? He's not going to go with nowhere near 2,000 yards, man. He's lucky to even get 1,000. Now, I know he had our struggles in the second half, but you mean to tell me that I have to fear the Skull Candy Vaclown offense, which is vastly overrated? 
vastly overrated. The best receiving core that they have are two tight ends, Rudolph and Ellison. Their wide receiving core is garbage. You mean to tell me that Corduroy Pants Patterson is going to put a number on us? You mean to tell me that Mike Wallace, this once great Pittsburgh Steeler, now he's a trash? He's a trash receiver with speed? Can't catch anything anymore. Why do you think the Sobe Shrimps got rid of him? Don't tell me this garbage because a tenner hack couldn't throw deep. I don't care if Tannehill can't throw deep or not. It's not because of him. It's because of Mike Wallace is a sorry piece of shit wide receiver. And the Steelers knew it. They freaking knew it. And that's why they got rid of him. Yes, Darius Slade may be out for the next game. But there's really nothing to fear. There is nothing to fear. All this overhype of Teddy Bear Bridgewater. And the child abuse has amounted to nothing. Has really amounted to nothing. Really? I gotta be scared of these bums on week two? And uh oh, don't let me get to the defensive side of the ball, which was even more embarrassing. How much of a spectacle that Colin Kaepernick made that entire defense. All this hype about Anthony Barr, all this hype about Chad Greenway, Harrison Smith, Xavier Rhodes, even though I gave him props last year, but he looked like trash against the Niner Empire. He looked like straight garbage against the Niner Empire. And you really think that even with DeAndre Levy out, that we got to fear these skull candy box clowns? Really? Y'all have got to be kidding me. Y'all have borrowed quarterbacks in the past. Let me start with Warren Moon. You borrowed him from the Houston Texans. You borrowed Randall Cunningham from the Philadelphia Eagles. You borrowed Brett Favre and Donovan McNabb to make your little runs, to make child abuser happy. Now he's a 30-year-old running back with busted knees that won't ever reach 2,000 yards again. That's the truth of you skull candy va clowns. I don't care how great Mike Zimmer claims to be, or whatever he claims to be, or what he did with them Bengals, he's not doing shit with you skull candy va clowns this week, man. He's not doing a motherfucking thing to y'all, man. Or for y'all. I don't give a fuck how much North Turner pumped into Teddy Bear Bridgewater's acumen. He may have a decent game, but he won't win the fucking game. That's the thing. And despite the two interceptions, Matt Stafford is still on point. It makes some noise. Y'all saw that touchdown catch Ebron caught? He made up for his drop passes. The best receiving threat you have are, are your tight ends, Rudolph and Ellison. Your wide receivers are garbage. And don't give me this stuff about McKinnon and Asiata. Yeah, you're going to bang them. But we got Nada. We got Nada and Karan Reed coming back. You saw what Ziggy did to uh, Phillip Rivers in the first half. Man, y'all got to be kidding me, man. It's us that's going to bounce back against you Skull Candy Vaught clowns, not the other way around. And they running around saying that y'all the biggest challengers to the pack in the North. No, nah, bitch, it's still us. And it will always be us. Remember that. We're going to pound it into your heads in week two. I ain't even got to say much more. But fuck it. This is a real hate week. This is a real war week. So I'm going to go in a little deeper. You tell me the team that had Randy Moss, Chris Carter, and all those borrowed quarterbacks couldn't do anything? Think that they're going to destroy us in week two? I don't see that happen. I just don't. Your defense look like straight, straight doo-doo. And we're going to make it doo-doo in week two. Stafford is going to light up that secondary so much. 
they're going to even have to quit in the second half and put in replacements. Amir Abdullah is out going to have a great day against you. Joy Bell is going to have a great day catching out the backfield against you guys. You saw what Theo Riddick did to you last year. And no, let me not forget the eight sacks we put on your so-called franchise quarterback. And more of that is to come even without suing fairly. I already done enough of this rating of this team. They are so garbage. We are, they are so overrated. We're about to pound sand into their ass at Gover Stadium in week two. I don't believe I gotta do a long video for this. I'm gonna kill it right there. This your motherfucking boy 313 Hitman, aka the one Prod Rider. Smash you smoke skull candy vibe club bitches in the sand week two. Fuck y'all, fuck your hype machine, and fuck ESPN for saying that shit, nigga. Hallelujah, motherfucking blue for life, bitch.